Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker850X and today I come to you with episode 2. Um, I said episode 2 will be about our humans, so starting things off we're going to go with Videl. Now, I'm putting it in order as my least favorite character to my favorite character this time because last time I kind of had it reversed because I disliked Piccolo the most out of all the Namekians and I did him last. So, let's get into it. Now, to me, Videl was always that like extremely annoying character in the show. Granted, she, she gave us Pan and... Um, she was the love of Gohan's life. I never cared for her too much, to be honest. She was extremely naggy and aggravating, in my opinion. I don't see how anyone was a fan of her, but I will say this for a human being, she was an, ex an exceptionally well fighter. Um, if I had to compare her to anybody, it would be like to kick Gohan, Goku and Krillin back in the day in the Dragon Ball um, time frame when they were young beasts. She's stronger than her father. I mean, and I think Mr. Hercule was was slated to be one of the strongest humans on the planet, next to Tien, Krillin, Yamcha, and um, Maju. Well, Ubu. I don't know why I said Maju, but would you even consider Ubu human, considering he's the reincarnation of Kid Buu? I don't. I don't know how many people actually consider um, Ubu human, but. <laughs> It is what it is. He's not in the game, so sadly, I won't be able to make a video. I won't be able to put him in these, which really sucks because Oop, Oop, my, the, Oop is my favorite character in the Dragon Ball series. Even though we didn't get to see much from him, I really like him. But back to Videl. Videl was always extremely annoying. Um, up until the point where she started training with Gohan and they started developing a relationship. Back when Gohan was teaching her how to fly and actually access her key, I thought something was going to form there. Like, Liddell was going to be a, a valuable asset. But instead, whoa, well, instead, this, this, instead, that pretty much built up their relationship and gave us character development for Videl and Gohan to build their relationship to give us Pan later on. So, I mean, that's all I can really say about Liddell. She, she helped give us Pan and... She was the love life of Gohan. Other than that, I I honestly could care less about her. Um, she's kind of like adult Chi Chi, almost with how aggravating she is. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and do Mr. Satan. Uh, probably, I dislike this guy more than Videl. Nah, I think Videl's more annoying. So let's get started with Hercule. Now, Hercule was your run of the mill big mouth who who just knew he was on top of everything hercule knew he was the in his head he thought he was the strongest man alive and he had led the entire planet earth to believe that meanwhile hercule was damn near the weakest character alive well three weakest human in, human alive okay not weakest human but weakest character holy crap look at this damage champa has done to me I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this fight. Oh my god. I just gotta disrespect it. But Hercule was I'm gonna find another character for Hercule to fight. Chompa clearly isn't that. We'll put him up against a side woman. Wow, 17 seconds and Hercule's dead. That's crazy. Um back to it. Mr. Satan was just I, I feel like he, he was more of a gag character than anything. He had plenty of character development in a sense, but he was just so weak. He, he, his whole purpose was the, the bullshit and, um, you know, kind of steal the glory and attention from the main heroes to the rest of the world. He was viewed as the world savior and hero, but he did have a very important world when it came to saving the, the planet against uh, Majin Buu. Had, him, had he not befriended Majin Buu, the Z Fighters most likely would have lost because Goku wouldn't have been able to get the energy to build that spirit bomb. Thus, not being able to save the universes or save the humans on planet Earth. And who was going to stop Boo? Like, seriously. Who's going to be able to stop Kid Boo? Nobody. There was nobody that could have stopped Kid Boo. Um, at that time, at least. Unless Beers woke up during that time. But that wouldn't have happened. So, moving past that, Hercule is probably the most importantly least important person because like i said without him befriending ajibu there would be no dragon ball super or no oob or anything else of that nature so next we're going to go with hmm, 
I just realized Chao Zhu isn't in this game. Good. He was useless anyway. But next we're gonna go with Krillin. They don't have my Krillin with hair. Oh man. Let's see. We're gonna go with Krillin. Now there's something I like to say about Krillin. Out of all the characters ever introduced in Dragon Ball Z, Krillin. He. How, how can I put Krillin? He, he. I don't dislike Krillin. He was just thrown to the side after Dragon Ball. Krillin was thrown to the side. I mean, he got plenty of development in Dragon Ball. Um, he was Goku's best friend, his rival, and even his opponent. No, he. I don't think he ever fought Goku in a tour world tournament. But Krillin was always there for Goku. He always had his back. That was his best friend. Goku's first human friend. Um, no, Bulma was Goku's first human friend. Goku's first human male friend? I don't think he considered a friend, but I could be wrong. Krillin much gave Goku school to overcome in terms of... Uh, someone to go up against because up until that point didn't have nobles and it was literally him and Boma going out getting dragon balls and him pretty much dumping anything that crossed his path. Krillin was a huge um a huge like obstacle but he's still there and people like Krillin as a kid. People like the, the kid Goku kid Krillin thing and Krillin gave Goku development with the whole uh him dying against I believe it was Drum Krillin died the drum and that set Goku up to like be probably set Goku up for one of his greatest fights in Dragon Ball against King Piccolo when he got his revenge on drum, tambourine, and then he beat for King Piccolo. Had Krillin died, we got in that fight. So I mean, respect to him. Without Krillin down, we also wouldn't have got Super Saiyan. So even respect to Krillin. And um so moving in uh, shut the androids. La, La Papez and Tazuli, I forgot. I think that's how you say it. I don't remember. But now, Yamcha. Um, now, something I must say about Yamcha. I never liked it. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe Yamcha. He, I, didn't, I can't say I hated him, but I never cared for him. Um, I actually, I actually prefer Krillin a lot more over Yamcha, and my reason for this is because when I first intro got introduced to Yamcha, he, he was a pervert. He, he was shown us to be a powerful character. His one weakness was Boma. He was weak around girls, and that allowed Goku to gain on him in multiple occasions. And I mean, I really wish Yamcha wouldn't have been thrown to the wayside because I would like some character development from him because he showed promise during the arc until he got wiped out by a Cyberman. Literally, the thing that just sent Yamcha's character on a downward spiral of no character development and lots of memes in the future. I mean, he was trained by Master Roshi just like Krillin, Goku, and Tien. So there really isn't an excuse for his lack of power. Um, I don't think he kept up his training like the rest of them. Because if I had to assume, I would say TN is stronger than Krillin. But I don't think a lot of people consider TN a human to begin with. So that's kind of debatable. Um, I've seen where people actually consider TN like a some kind of subspecies of human. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but... <sighs> Yamcha, Yamcha... I would have loved to see him make a comeback, like, after his whole, after the filler episode with him fighting the Ginyu Force, I really wanted to see Yamcha come back with, like, Kaioken or something, just to give him, like, a tee-up, because when Dr. Jiro grabbed him and, and sucked his life force away, it was just like, damn, dude, you really are absolute trash. Like, you, you serve no purpose to anyone. And Vegeta took his girl, so Yamcha got the the weekend of the stick in every situation. And what can I say? I felt bad for him. But again, without Yamcha, we wouldn't have got a lot of character development for Kid Goku, along with Krillin. Now, my last human is gonna be my favorite, which is Tien Shao. Now, here's my thing with Tien. 
TN TNT How can I how, what, what can I say about TN? For some reason, I always like the ball characters because I always thought everyone else disliked them because they were ball. So like when Nappa was introduced, I was a fan of Nappa um, and TN. Here's my thing. Out of all the people who trained for the Saiyans coming back, TN and Piccolo probably had the most progress. TN took the most damage from Nappa and was still available and ready to fight up until he exhausted all his energy. Um, it, it was sad what happened to Tien. I had high hopes for Tien. I knew Chaozu wasn't going to do anything, but I had high hopes for Tien, and I, I wanted to see more from him. But Tien was able to redeem himself. I mean... Unlike Yamcha, when he came face to face with Cell or the androids, I don't even think Yamcha met Cell, but Tien fought second form Cell. Not really fought, but he held back second form Cell, which I think is a, a testament to his power in itself, considering how powerful second form Cell was. It took a, um, a trained Vegeta and Trunks to be able to, you know, battle this guy and overpower him. Meanwhile, you got TN, a normal human being, being able to suppress Cell to the point where he couldn't get out of that hole to actually get to the android like he wanted to. And I, I, I think that goes without saying that without TN, um, it would have been over for the Z Fires a bit earlier. Granted, I still think the Cell game still would have took place simply because how how Cell's character was, but. Without TN, there there really wouldn't have been, you know, anyone else there at that point in time to slow him down any. Thus, we wouldn't have had the little the little character sequence between 18 and um and Krillin. So, also, TN made a I guess you can say a cameo in the Boo Saga when when Majin Buu used the human genocide attack to pretty much kill off all human life on the planet. Uh, Tien and Chaozu was training in the mountains, dodging those attacks, which I thought were actually undodgeable. Tien and Chaozu was dodging them casually, and I don't think they were killed throughout that. I don't know where they went, but I don't think they actually died from that attack. Um, now, granted, I do know that Tien wouldn't have been strong enough to stand a chance against Majin Buu, but I still think it's, it's it's rather admirable of him to, you know, be able to survive an attack like that that was targeting human beings and taking them out. And this character had killed all the Z warriors. He was dodging an attack that should have been unavoidable with great ease. Him in Chaozu, and let's be honest, the, out, the outfit that Tien had, it looked dope. It looked super dope. I mean, I liked his green gi, but that, the blue and white, it was freaking dope. It was super amazing, and I actually wish they would include that as a costume in this game. It just fit his character so well. So, I mean, honestly, there there isn't much more I can say on TN, besides the fact he was literally my favorite human. The rest of the humans were pretty obsolete in my opinion. Master Roshi isn't in this game so that is why he's not in this video. But if, if I had the PC version I could use mods and I'm pretty sure there's a Master Roshi mod. But Tien also had a cameo in the, uh, the Bojack movie where him and Trunks fight and Trunks actually went Super Saiyan to defeat him. I don't know if he needed it but I thought it was cool that Trunks used Super Saiyan to take him out. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like button, comment, tell me what you think. If you're interested for more of these episodes, uh, comment below to let me know which ones you guys would like to see next. Because um, the next one I had planned was the Freezer Race character. No, the androids. Since the androids are the, the next smallest selection of character race in the game. So, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, comment to me what you think, and as always, it's your boy JoeCreative50X, and we're out to the next one. Peace.